Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to see OSPF version 3 configuration. Till now, we had discussed OSPF version 2. So today we are going to implement OSPF version 3. First of all, let me make you understand some difference between OSPF version 1, uh, sorry, version 2 and version 3. So OSPF version 2 is implementation for IP version 4, for internet protocol version 4 and OSPF version 3 implementation is for IP version 6. So whenever in your network you are running your, uh, your IP implementation is IPv6, then you will configure OSPF version 3. Whenever your IP impl implementation is IPv4, you will configure OSPF version 2. Other concepts are same in version 2 and version 3, like area concept, right? area 0 is backbone area. Those concepts are same in version 2 and version 3. But configuration is different. So, while configuring OSPF version 3, you will see whenever we were typing IP, here I am going to say IPv6. Like to enable OSPF version 2 on a router, what command you will run guys? Router, OSPF and process ID. But here to enable OSPF version 3, you will run command IPv6 router OSPF process ID done here we can we will not advertise network with the help of network command directly on the interface we will run command so let me show you the configuration now first of all okay first of all i need to configure ip address ipv6 address so see how we will hook how we can configure ipv6 address on the interface of router first so interface f0 slash 0 here my ipv6 address is 12 double column 1 so let's say ipv6 address and 12 of double column 1 slash 64 okay so 12 of is network portion this one is your host portion done okay now interface f1 slash 0 here also i need to configure one ipv6 so ipv6 address ip address is 192.168.192 168 colon 10 double colon 1 slash let's say 64 here i have configured ipv6 address on 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1 now if you want to verify it the ip configuration so command will be so ipv6 interface brief to check the ip configuration of ipv4 you are running command so ip interface brief here you will run command so ipv6 interface brief and you can see on f0 slash 0 i have configured 12 double colon 1 and this is my link local id in ipv6 whenever you will configure the unique local ip address automatically machine will elect one machine will automatically configure one link local address as well okay after that on f1 slash 0 you can see my ipv6 address is 193 so it is not 193 it is 192 let me correct it interface f1 slash 0 ipv6 address 192 colon 168 colon 10 double colon 1 slash 64 now if you will verify so ip v6 interface brief you can see on f1 slash 0 we have 192 dot 10 dot 192 168 10 1 as well and 193 168 10 one also so actually we can configure multiple ipv6 address on a same interface so i need to remove this command how i can do this do it we can say interface f1 slash 0 and no ipv6 address 193 colon 168 colon 10 double colon 1 slash 64 right now you can check so IPv6 interface brief f0 slash 1 IP address is 192 colon 168 colon 10 col double colon 1 done guys so IPv6 configuration is done on router number 1 now I am going to configure IPv6 on router 2 interface f0 slash 0 say no shut and IP 
नौसठ आई पी वी सिक्स एड्रेस ट्वेल्व डबल कॉलम टू स्लैश सिक्सटी फोर डन इंटरफेस एफ वन स्लैश जीरो आई पी वी सिक्स एड्रेस वन नाइन्टी टू डॉट वन नाइन्टी टू कॉलन वन सिक्सटी एट कॉलन ट्वेंटी डबल कॉलन वन स्लैश सिक्सटी फोर डन से नो सेट ओके हियर ऑल्सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वेरीफाई आई पी वी सिक्स कॉन्फिग्रेशन सो यू कैन रन कमांड सो आई पी वी सिक्स इंटरफेस ब्रीफ यू कैन सी ऑन एफ जीरो स्लैश जीरो आई एम रनिंग ट्वेल्व डबल कॉल ऑन टू एंड ऑन एफ वन स्लैश जीरो आई एम रनिंग दिस आई पी वी सिक्स एड्रेस नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू कन्फिगर ओ एस पी एफ वर्जन थ्री सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी कन्फिगर ओ एस पी एफ ऑन राउटर नंबर वन कमांड विल बी आई पी वी सिक्स राउटर ओ एस पी एफ प्रोसेस आई डी वन This is command. What is saying? IPv6 routing is not enabled. So by default, IPv4 routing is enabled on routers, but IPv6 routing is disabled. So to enable IPv6 routing, just you need to run one command: IPv6 unicast routing. Okay. Let me run this command on router two also. On both router, I need to enable IPv6 routing. So IPv6 unicast routing. Done. Now I can configure OSPF. So router IPv6 router OSPF process ID one, and you can see the log message OSPF version three process OSPF version three one IPv6 could not pick a router ID. Please configure manually. So here in IPv6. Actually, on this router we have not configured any IPv4 address, but router ID in OSPF version three is also IPv4 format. So that's why here you have to configure router ID manually. So let me say router ID is one dot one dot one dot one. So you can see I, router ID is in the form of IPv4 format. So here we are implementing OSPF on IPv6. So we have to configure router ID manually every time. Done. After that, exit. Now I am going to advertise network. So on interface F zero slash zero, you can run command IPv six OSPF process one and area zero. This command is similar like your network command. Done. So this command will enable OSPF on F zero slash zero. In the same way on F one slash zero also. Let me say IPv six OSPF process one and area zero. So I have enabled. OSPF on both interface. If you want to verify what command you can run, so IP protocol. If you will run so IP protocol, it will show you the routing protocol of IPv4. So here we have to say so IP version six protocol. And now you are able to see I am running what protocol? IPv6 routing protocol is connected. IPv6 routing protocol is ND. IPv6 routing protocol is OSPF one and dot ID is one dot one dot one dot one. If you want to check the interface, so IPv6 OSPF interface brief. So you can see I am running OSPF version three on F zero slash zero and zero slash one. Interface status is never status is. Sorry, interface status is what done, because now router number two I have not configured any. OSPF. So on router number two also, let me configure OSPF, guys. Okay. Router, sorry, IPv6 router OSPF and process ID. Let's say one. Here also you have to configure router ID manually. So say router ID is two dot two dot two dot two. Done. After that, interface F zero slash zero IPv6 OSPF process number one and area is zero. Interface F one slash zero IPv six OSPF process one and area is what zero. So IPv six OSPF interface brief. So I am running OSPF on these two interface. Okay, and the state is wet. So soon it is going to change the state. Now so IP OSPF interface. So IP OSPF interface. Here I am not able to see anything. Brief. What happened? 
oh so ipv6 not so ip only ip version 6 ospf so now you can see the detailed information of ospf configuration on interface here a state is waiting so it is waiting for dr and bdr election priority is one date time hello time everything is like ospf version 2 yes or no everything is like ospf version 2 and now so ip v6 ospf database so you can check database as well database is also same like um ospf version 2 yes or no now let me check the routing table so to check routing table so ip v6 route so ipv6 rot ospf so here you can see router 2 have not received any rot on a router number 1 let me verify so ipv6 rot ospf so router 1 also have not received any network from router number 2 done so let me check that why router is first of all let me ping let me check neighbor so ip v6 ospf neighbor so neighborship is down guys so ip v6 interface brief so this interface is administratively down this interface is also administratively down so i need to run no such command interface range f 0 slash 0 and f 1 slash 0 let's say no such on router number 2 also I think so IP v6 interface brief so f0 slash 0 is up up f0 slash 1 is also up up okay so here port is up so IP v6 OSPF neighbor now you can see 1.1.1 1 .1 .1 is my neighbor now I am going to check the routing table so IP v6 route ospf route ospf so you can see this router have learned this network from their neighbor 1.1.1 1 .1 .1 .1 exit interface is this one okay so if i will ping from router number one let's say ping 192 colon 168 colon 20 double colon one and say source is 192 colon 168 colon 10 double colon 1 see I am able to ping my LAN user are able to communicate with each other done guys so this is OSPF version 3 configuration hope it's clear to you guys now suppose on the same link I want to configure EIGRP so we can configure EIGRP also as you know we can run multiple IPv6 address on same interface okay now if you want to configure IPv4 as well OSPF IPv4 sorry OSPF version 2 as well what you can do you can configure IPv4 address as well on the interface of this router let me do that also interface F0 slash 0 this time I am going to configure IP 12.1.1.1 and 255.255.255.0 this is my IPv4 address ok now so IP interface brief this command will show you ipv4 configuration and so ipv6 interface brief it will show you the ipv6 configuration then on router number 2 also i am going to configure one ipv4 address on f0 slash 0 ip address 12.1.1.2255.255.255.0 done guys now router OSPF process ID 1 and network 12.1.1.0 wildcard mask 0 .0 0.0.255 and let's say area is 0 router ID is let's say 2.2.2.2 ok on router number 1 also I am going to configure OSPF version 2 router OSPF process ID 1 and network 12.1.1.0 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.0.255 and let's say area is what 0 and router id 1.1.1.1 do clear ipospf 
process say yes and router id 1.1.1 now show ip ospf neighbor this command will show you ospf version 2 neighborship yes state is 2 way and show ip v6 ospf neighbor this command will show you the ip version 6 ospf neighborship ospf version 3 neighborship okay so this neighborship is also full and ipv4 ospf version 2 will also come in full state soon access start state and now suppose i have some loopback here i am running one loopback 10.1.1.0 slash 24 10.1.2.0 slash 24 and 10.1.3.0 slash 24 let's say and i want to share these ip4 prefixes to router number 1 through ospf version 2 and i want to share this network information to router number 2 through ipv6 so i am sharing this network information with ipv6 means to with ospf version 3 now i am going to share these prefixes with the help of ipv4 sorry ospf version 2 so let me create this loopback interface loopback 1 IP address is let's say 10.1.1.1 255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.